who is she she's back again i just had my hair blow dried how cute is this so today i'm gonna get ready quickly for an event let me just check what time it is because i don't know so i have probably about 45 minutes to get ready like makeup outfit pack my bag and go so i've had my makeup on i'll zoom you in since about nine in the morning and now it is 3 15 so you can see what it looks like i was going to take it all off put it back on again but i don't really think that is required i think it looks pretty nice and it's just more effort taking off to put exactly the same products back on i grabbed my foundation brush and okay if you're oilier and you have a lot of grease on your face take a blotting paper or a tissue paper and just dab you know dab off any um excess oil what i'm gonna do is just press over my skin there's going to be foundation left on this and it's just going to kind of refresh the foundation rebuff it into the skin if it's separated if it's a bit oily done next thing i need some lip balm this is aquaphor and i really really enjoy it it's like nine pounds and i have about three of these one at my boyfriend's, one in my handbag, and one at home. And I don't think I've ever finished one. And now I'm just checking to see if I need any more um, eye primer. And I'm going to add a little bit. Just like where my eye has creased a little bit. This is the NARS waterproof eyeshadow, smudge proof eyeshadow base in the shade medium. I love it. And I'm just going to use my finger to tap that in. I'm going to go for something pretty quick and easy, so I'm just going to take my bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantalise bronzer. Because it is my bronzer, I like to bring it a little bit heavier in the inner corner. You could alternatively like touch up your base, which I'll be doing later, but I kind of just want to get the eyes on there. As that's the most urgent thing that needs to be on me fast. So today I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury The Icon palette, seeing as I'm going to a Charlotte Tilbury event. And let's see what shade. Yeah, this gold shade. And I always kind of apply these shades with my finger. And because we've applied the eyeshadow primer, these are going to stick a lot better. And personally, when I do something soft and bronzy like this... I'm not too bothered about the shimmer staying exactly on the lid. I think it looks quite nice when it's diffused up. So whatever's left on my finger, I just kind of drag it up onto my lid. I need to pull this hair out. I'm going to deepen up my crease just a tiny bit with this shade here. So I'm going to use the Milani... Desert Heat Hypnotic Lights Eyeshadow. It's like a really bright white gold. And on a pencil brush, I'm just going to take a little bit and dot it on the inner corner of my eye. Take off the excess and then kind of buff it in a little bit more so it's not so harsh. As you know, I use two shades for my under eye, a little darker one, a little bit darker one, and a lighter one. I'm going to take the lighter one. I say lighter, but it's honestly just the same colour as my skin. And I'm going to stamp it under my eyes and anywhere else where I might need a bit of coverage. I've got kind of a blemish here. Oh, and always around the mouth because I've been drinking, eating, wiping my mouth, so... I either like to use my finger because I feel like now my beauty blender's dry, it's not going to be very good and if I go and wet it, it's going to take off too much of my makeup. So by using my finger, 
it's literally just going to melt the product into my skin. And I'm going to push it up to my lash line. And also my beauty blender has powder on it from when I first did my makeup. And for around my mouth, I'm just going to use my foundation brush because it's going to be quicker. Because I got my hair washed today, it normally takes off some of the makeup around the jawline. So I'm just going to rebuff that. So my Too Faced Ethereal Powder, same technique, smushing into my hand. We don't need a lot and pressing it under the eye. Sorry if you can hear loads of school children outside, it's about the time everyone's finishing. I guess they're nearly going to be on their summer holidays. Very exciting. Um, and I'm just going to press it all in my T-zone wherever I'm shiny. With my bronzer, I'm going to use that Marc Jacobs one again. It's quite pigmented and I don't need a lot, to be honest. It's all still pretty, pretty there. So I'm going to lightly go over it. Again, mainly around the very edges where it could have been washed off when I had my hair washed this morning. As you guys know, I really like cream blush, but I do not want to reapply cream blush cream blush on top of all this powder when I apply cream blush I do it before any powder any bronzer before I've set my under eyes straight after concealer and there's a reason for that so I don't really want to apply more cream blush I'm gonna go for a powder one this is isn't it peachy by uh, makeup obsession and I'm gonna mix these two shades and I'm taking that on a morphe e4 For my highlight, I'm going to reapply my Charlotte Tilbury one, just a tiny bit, to give my foundation something, or my highlight something to stick on. <laughs> and I'm going to use a small eyeshadow brush to buff the edges in circular motions. I tried this the other day, and I really liked the way buffing made it look. It made it look a lot more skin-like rather than a stripe. We'll have a bit of Fenty instead. I've got Mean Mo Money, Hustler Baby, and Afternoon Stack, and Mole Honey. I think I'm going to go for the newer one, which is Afternoon Snack and Mole Honey. I'm going to take the more shimmery one. I'm going to take it on the tip of my brush. Again, use circular motions to buff it into my skin. Your cheekbone isn't a flat surface, so by using buffing motions, you're going to catch your cheek shape instead of just striping the top of it. And I'm going to take my brush, which I normally contour my nose with, but I'm not going to take any product because it probably still has some on there. Just going to go down the sides of my nose and the tip. Take my eyebrow gel, which is the Benefit Brow Setter, and I always do my eyebrows after highlight because if you do it before, a lot of the time your highlight bronzer powder is just going to stick to the brow gel and make your brows kind of dull instead of nice and shiny and thick and healthy and bold. I'm going to take my freckle pen by Lime Crime. A lot of my techniques are literally just touching up it's not really anything groundbreaking but sometimes you don't need more products like I didn't add more foundation because a lot of the time whatever's left on your brush is enough I did buy a new Maybelline Lash Sensational but you know when it's a little bit too new like this is so wet so what I'm going to do is take my old one, put it back into the new one, and then back into the old one to kind of take some of the product off. It's not the most hygienic thing to do, but as long as you're not using it on anyone else, I mean, I've never had any problems with it. Now for my lips, I'm taking a Starbucks napkin. I'm just getting rid of all that lip balm. 
and I'm going to use two new lip liners I got from Mark Jacob yesterday. One in Ococo and one in Nudist. So yeah, I'm going to take Ococo and just line the outside of my lips first. Then I'm going to take Nudist and kind of go over that line and fill in my lips. Oh, my lips are pretty wonky. But that is fine. And I think that is it for my refreshed makeup. Um, I don't know what time it is. I don't know how long that took me. Let me check. Yeah, that took me like 20 minutes. But obviously, if you weren't talking through it, I'm sure it would take a lot less. But yeah, I think my skin looks pretty good. I've got a little spot coming through here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little impromptu video on how to touch up your makeup when you're going out and kind of like a get ready with me for this event I'm going to. Um, thank you so much for watching. All of the details will be down below. You know the drill. But yeah, love you lot. See you soon.